The world, ladies and gentlemen, is on fire. As the line between good and evil blurs, and parliaments of apathy vote to hoard their riches and ignore the rising tide of chaos, principled men and women must step forward and become beacons of light in the encroaching darkness. Well, good luck to them, whoever the hell they are. Botch? Yes, sir. Judy. Yeah, I mean, man, calm down. Soup. They call me soup because I like soup. It ain't that deep. And, uh, some kid, I guess. Sir, I won't let you down, sir. Welcome to Talon. Tactical Armor Logistics Operations and Negotiations. A one-stop shop of global stability for any government that has a mess to clean up and a healthy wedge of cash. Pleased to be here, sir. Wherever the hell here is. That's a point. Why are we here? I mean, us specifically. You have been handpicked to be our flagship team of crack operatives because you are the best of the best of the best. Okay, I'm good, but I feel like I have to do some expectation management here. Of the best! Tiny, Tiny Troopers! Troopers. Global Ops! So, who's gonna be the first to leave? Cause, uh, this is getting awkward. Well, I'm glad someone said it. Oh, I've got stuff to do, man. What a farce! We should have planned this better, I admit. Can we stay like this for a while? You've mastered the finer points of moving around and looking in different directions. Well done, I guess. Now for your next task. Interaction. When you're next to me, speak to me by using interact. Excellent work, trooper. I would have been worried if you couldn't do that. But still, progress is progress. Next, you will learn how to begin a mission by using the console. Let's begin the combat training mission in order to learn the basics of combat. Combine the skills you've learned so far. Walk over to the mission's console, interact with it, and select the tutorial mission. Welcome to the Combat Training Facility Troop. Here you will refresh your training on the basics of combat. I'm going to lay out a set of objectives aimed at honing your skills. Follow and complete these objectives by following the circular orange pointer 
on your HUD. Move out! Right! First up, Trooper. You're going to learn how to dodge incoming fire. The first rule of Trooper Tactics is to always keep moving. Learning how to dodge is key to this doctrine. Watch out for proximity mines like these. They will detonate a wide area if you get too close. If you're clumsy enough and set one off, you'll only have a brief moment to move away from the blast. So either run, or better yet, dodge out of the blast zone. Next task, your fellow trooper over there is going to throw grenades at you. Mm, a bit drastic, I know. If they hit you, you might die. You don't want to die, do you now? So dodge the grenades. I can't stress this enough. Your best defense tool is your ability to dodge. This will move you a short distance, much faster, and will get you clear of incoming attacks and explosions. Also, it's pretty fun. If you're not having fun, what's the point? Now follow the next set of prompts. Let's move on to how to use your weapons. Here, you will learn to shoot with your trusty primary weapon, your pistol. You will, of course, obtain more powerful primary weapons later on, such as SMGs and assault rifles. But you can't go wrong with the pistol. It's a powerful and accurate start. Over there is your first Target. A training dummy. How exciting. Aim at the dummy and shoot. Keep shooting until the dummy is down. Don't worry, it will also get back up just to be shot again. You'll notice the red circle on your HUD that appears by its feet as you aim. That's to show you're locked on and will shoot direct at it. Now that you've taken out your first enemy, it's time to learn how to look after your teammates by reviving them. When a teammate takes too much damage, they will be downed. When down, you only have a short period of time to get them back up before they are out of action, otherwise known as To revive a down squad member, simply move next to them and hold the interact button. Follow the prompts on your HUD and practice on the poor dummy. So that's weapon training done. It's time to move to the fun stuff. Secondary weapons. Let's start with grenades. Pick up this grenade. The grenade and anything else you pick up on the battlefield will appear in your slots. On the HUD on the right side. Move toward that dummy and target it with a grenade. Ignore the fact that one of your colleagues threw one at you earlier. To throw it, prepare the grenade first. A red target reticule will display. Once you have the target aimed with the reticule, throw the grenade. A big boom will follow. Moving 
on from grenades, we are going to learn another secondary weapon. A personal favorite of mine, the Rocket Launcher. Pick up the launcher and face the dummy. Just like grenades, you can prepare the rocket launcher before firing. This will show you where the rocket will aim. Place the reticule on the dummy and attack. Get that rocket launcher and take that dummy down. This time, we will learn how to quick fire your secondary weapon. Oh no! Your nemesis, the dummy, has returned! Time to take it down once and for all. Quick firing allows you to take faster shots at your enemies without having to prepare your secondary like you did before. Just roughly aim and fire. Hopefully you won't miss. You can quick fire any of your secondary weapons. Learn how to quick fire your rocket launcher and take that dummy down again. This is the final stage of your training. Here you will learn to use special items such as the all-powerful airstrike. Pick up the airstrike here, then move into the middle of the training area here. You can take out multiple enemies with a single strike. Equip the airstrike by using the button linked to the slot it's held in. When you're ready, call in the airstrike by firing it like you would any other weapon. Then witness the devastation. You will be able to use many special items throughout your career. Like the airstrike, all of them function in this same way. The dummy has brought in reinforcement dummies. Take them out. Take cover. Well done, Trooper. You're recertified for combat.
what's our objective, sir? Well, son, my objective is to advance the interests of this enterprise and make a healthy amount of cash. Your objective is to shut up while I show you these slides. Sir, permission to speak, sir. What is it? Sir, have you considered using a laptop, sir? Damn it, son. Anyone else got a pointless interjection to waste my time with? That this is Prince Mohammed Ib Ibnum Abdul Aziz, a minor royal in the Hajari regime. The prince has gone missing while on a fact-finding mission near their border with Kashkiri. And that's where we come in. What was he trying to find out? That billionaires shouldn't take vacations in active war zones? Do we suspect foul play? Oh, I always suspect foul play, son. But either way, the Hajari regime wants him found and returned safely before anyone realizes he's gone. Could be a big embarrassment for them, which means a big payday for us. If we don't screw this up. Our first order of business is to do some fact-finding of our own. Find out where he's being held. Our only lead is some sketchy intel on a handful of rebel bases in this region. Sketchy? How sketchy are we talking here? Jackson Pollock or Van Gogh? Have I told you lately that our intel sucks? That's Van Morrison, you moron. You are going to search these camps for clues, quietly. I know you all have an aversion to sneaking around, but this job calls for discretion. Any questions? Sir, are we allowed to call the up Prince of Persia, sir? Look, son, geography was never my strong suit. Sir, I meant legally, sir. Get your asses ready for deployment. Troopers, we're here to collect three pieces of intel. Stored on ultra high tech compact discs. The CDs should contain vital info on our main target's location. Our scouts report there will be minimal resistance. Find those discs and also something that can read them. A boombox perhaps?
Latest intel mentions a very important asset, hidden somewhere at this dock. You will need to gain access into this security checkpoint. Our target is apparently hidden inside one of the many shipping containers. Search those containers and secure our target. Oi, we ran out of gas. Need to go past Thunderdome. The boss don't look like an option right now. If you can find me some gas before Toe Snipper turns up, there's some shiny trinkets I got back in Bargain Town in it for you.
it's very shiny. Well, I am sure that is some top secret, tactical, smart paint. Whatever it is, it's clearly above our pay grade. Clear the area so our extraction team can remove the vehicle and get out of there. Nice shoot! Ooh. Troopers, your mission is to retrieve three critical components that belong to the vehicle we captured. First, a part so vital that vehicles cannot drive on the roads without one. Second, a part critical in the vehicle's handling? Finally, the sister piece to the first item, and of equal importance. Get the components and take them to the evac point. This precious cargo depends on you. Move out!
dispatching enemy. You're making a mess. Warm up troopers, you've got a lot of work to do. You're here to take out weapon stockpiles before they can be used against us. There's another here. And finally, a third, here. Good luck. Now get to it. Nice shooting. Enemy. Dispatching enemy. 
fire at will. Your meek is on will.
Troopers, we're here to get more intel that will hopefully be more useful than the last lot. Make your way through these narrow and winding canyons and locate the ciphers being held by the hostiles. Use the collected ciphers to decode the intel being broadcasted using the nearby radio towers. Helpfully, the towers appear to be color-coded, which is nice. Helpfully, the towers appear to be color-coded.
You're heading to a remote command center, Trees. Reports indicate that this center has intel which may finally provide the exact location of our main target. You need to get that intel. Fortunately for you, your chopper is going to fly past these AA guns before you land. Take these out. It's not the smartest, but it's our only option right now. If you survive, once on the ground, make your way to the computers in the command center. Hack in and collect the info we need. Then get out of there. We have prepped a staging point for you to equip and prepare yourselves ready for those AA guns. Obviously, I wasn't going to send you in empty-handed. Lock and load.
Troopers, you are en route to the region's international airport. Our sources indicate that the Prince is lying in civilian aid. We have reason to believe that this aid is nothing more than supplies to aid his own incursion. To make certain, inspect those crates and deal with any resistance.
old troopers, we're finally here. The Prince's hiding spot. However, before we confront the Prince, we must release the hostages that his remaining forces have been detaining here. Here. And also here. Take caution. Each hostage will be heavily guarded. Locate and liberate all three. Finally, make your way to the Prince's encampment at the peak. The Prince will be waiting for you there, so be careful. He is heavily armed and highly dangerous.
you have reduced me to. Rags and huts perched on this barren hilltop. My plan is in tatters, and my family at home are furious. You were supposed to clear the path for my genius plan, not meddle in it and ruin it all. It ends now. Guards, to me! So this is a sort of, you break it, you bought it type situation? You had to go and call in the airstrike, didn't you? I told you that was overkill, and likely against rank. It was only a smidgen of napalm. How was I supposed to know it would kill him? Maybe we can fix it, sir. Fix it? Like how your mom and dad fixed it when Happy the Goldfish slipped this mortal coil? We can't just go to the store and buy an identical prince. Idiot. You leave my goldfish out of this. He's not dead. He's only 19. Do you think they'll still pay up, man? Sure. They'll pay up for some other PMC to come napalm us. Our only hope is that they're as incompetent as we are. I'm not incompetent. The heat just plays havoc with me, IBS. What in the hell is going on down there? I've got my CIA buddies on the line telling me they can't see the smokestack from Doha. With all due respect, sir, this is what happens when you get your intelligence from Van Morrison. But darn it, I... We get our intel from Van Morrison? For the last time, I was talking about Van Gogh. Will you idiots... Stop talking about Van Gogh! We get our intel from Van Gogh? Hey, if there's one guy who can always keep an ear to the ground... Get back to base this instant! He's alive! You work hard for that medical degree, genius? Uh, happy is a stupid name for a fish. Speaking of stupid, using your inherited wealth to launch a coup against your own family? I hope you like bars on your windows, buddy. What, are you kidding me? You think they just throw billionaires in jail? The worst fate waiting for this guy is house arrest in one of the most opulent palaces on the planet. You know, it's hard work to be a billionaire. The others were making fun of me for not having my own space program, so I tried to one-up them by having my own country. Why didn't you just start your own space program? I'm afraid of heights. Uh, can we stop for a bathroom break along the way? A bathroom break? I fear I may need to do a Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs>